join me, let's turn that down, you join me at Dub Customs where we have come to collect my Escort Mexico. It's been away for a couple of months now and I could not be more excited about collecting this car. It is one of my favourite cars, which nobody can quite believe, but it is, and it's the red one. So let's go inside and see what's been done. So arrival at Dub Customs, the famous Dub Aston Martin. How good does this look? In almost, if we're talking Ford, citrine yellow. So here it is, my first Escort Mexico and the red car. And you'll notice it's got some new graphics on the side. These graphics were made by the guys at Dub Customs to replicate my mum's original, which had the same graphics on the side. And how cool does it look? So we've got no rear badges at the moment, but that is about to change. So we've got the last wiper blade going back on now. They've been treated to a freshen up. Uh, you can see on the back here, this one has uh, been fully freshened up. We've got all the new badging on the back now. So we've got the original Escort badge, brand new. We've got this Mexico graphic that I've had added to the back. And then we've got a brand new 16 valve badge. Um, the whole boot lid's been repainted. The rear spoiler's been repainted. This whole rear quarter's been repainted. The door, the side, pretty much the entire car has been repainted. And you can see here as well the graphic down the side and something else has just arrived because that's having a couple of updates as well. So you can just see new plates to go on, but we'll do that later. That's another video maybe. So we've just made it home to where I keep the Mexico. And as you can imagine, I can't keep all my cars in one place. So the Mexico lives here. And I've just made it home. And I have to say, and I always say this, that car drives like new. Literally, the Mexico drives better than the RS2000, to be really honest. It's just so easy to drive. Even Sean at Dub Customs said he drove it and couldn't believe how well it drives. So let's have another look around it. Now we're home and see what's been done. So you can see it here now in the light it has the graphics on there's a story about them i'll tell you in a moment so these graphics were actually on mum and dad's escort mexico um when they had it and the story is my dad's friend bought the car new um he literally put the graphics on uh, mum and dad bought the car less than a year old and so i wanted to replicate it so that it looked like mum and dad's as much as i possibly could make it um, it's got new Mexico deco, Mexico, Mexico decals on the side and it's still got the RS2000 wheels on. However, I'm changing them. I've managed to source a set of original wheel covers, um, new old stock Ford. So it's going to go back on steel wheels with the original wheel covers. Also, it's had new brakes. The original number plate will be changed. Uh, it's going to go on to a new plate, which I'll show you in a moment. And... We've got the original obviously black wing mirrors they're staying along with the black bumpers and black side decals so this number plate is going to be replaced by this n25 mex the significance being mum's car was n25 and my escort cosworth is n25 cos so therefore we've got n25 mex on original john gross dealer plates so that will go there shortly We've added the original John Gross rear window dealer sticker as well, just to make the car, again, that bit more original. And you can see around the back now, um, it just looks so good. We've got the brand new Escort badge now on. This decal that I had designed to match the sides, which I just think looks really cool on the back. And then a brand new 16 valve badge, courtesy of Kev Flatman um, of the RSOC. So you may remember in the first video, the car was rotten all around here, around here, and around here. So it's all been completely stripped back and totally resprayed, the entire boot lid. And these cars suffered from fade on the spoiler, so the spoiler's all been repainted as well. The car in its entirety, it had a little bit of rust around here. The arch has also been done. Um, it was some rust on the seals as well. That's all been done. And there was also 
a scratch if you recall in the first video running along here that's also been done so the car has almost been entirely resprayed um, so it really does look now showroom fresh and I'm really really happy with the way it has turned out inside you can see we're racking up the miles we're heading closer to 52,000 miles but inside it is very very clean and I've got all my cassettes in I've changed the gear knob to this better version because the old one was a bit tatty um, but other than that it's just been cleaned up really one other thing we've done is added the original John Gross zoom in on that tax disc holder and again just adding to that originality Again, other little details as I touched on the RS2000 recently, the original alarm sticker, the original key code radio sticker, all these things just add to the originality of the car. One thing that does need doing is these need tidying up and auto finesse have come to the rescue here and I will be detailing those and using their product very, very soon and showing you the outcome. So I genuinely couldn't be happy with the end result. I bought this car really as a project, as a daily run around, and my plans have really changed. I, I bought it, then I bought the RS2000 4 before, and I thought I'm gonna use the RS2000 4 before daily. I'm gonna sell the Red Mexico. Well, everything's changed, the whole game's changed. Uh, I'm keeping them both. Uh, I'll probably use the red car more now daily, because it's just easier to drive. I think the RS2000 4 before is more collectible, more of a show car. So I'm probably gonna run, I'm gonna try and run all three cars to as many shows as I can moving forward. So I'm gonna have the Mexico, the RS2000 and the Escort Cosworth at as many shows together as I possibly can. All the cars are NREG, all the cars are 1995. And I just think it's really, really cool. It pays homage to my youth. It pays homage to the passion and you know having the black car as well that you would have seen in my last video which is the same as in the advert which i think we should run let's show the advert and alex is personally ensuring that your mexican sun god gets back in one piece we handle lots of fragile things it won't even know it's been moved from Alex. It's the sun god. I've also found the moon god. Fantastic. Where? Guatemala. And lastly, I'm always banging on about history. Um, so we've got all the brochures here for the escort. We've got the history file for my escort Mexico. Uh, including original Escort Mexico brochure, original Escort Mexico advert, so all the Ford um, 1995 onwards cars featured Alex in the adverts, um, and this is the actual magazine insert um, advert for the car itself, and you'll notice Mex 25 on the number plate, and my Mexico is obviously going to have N25 Mex, which I think is really, really cool, because this car was built to commemorate 25 years of the original Escort Mexico. We've got here an update from Fast Forward magazine on the car itself with the press shots. Uh, we've got an update here from a Fast Forward Escort magazine. An update on the range. The original Escort Mexico ad, another one. And then lots of info on the original Mexico that I have put together. So this really is a complete file of the history of the Escort Mexico. And then there's all the history here of the car and other brochures and all sorts. And I always say, and plus all the original hand manuals and all that stuff that you could want, hand manuals. Uh, owner's manual I should say but yeah history is everything with these cars so building up this file I think is really really cool um, and I've got files for all of the cars so these are the history files we've got black folder for the black Mexico red fold for the red Mexico orange folder for the orange heritage 
purple folder for the Escort Cosworth and blue folder for the RS2000. So I've literally uniformed all my service histories now, all the books, all the owner's manuals, absolutely everything. Um, and also, don't forget a little free plug there for Mr. Steve Saxty. This book is amazing. Make sure you get it. But ultimately, these, these cars, they, they stand for what my youth stood for, really. They are a big part of me. Let's get it in shot, if we can. It's a big part of me. It's a big part of my car journey. This is the car I learned to drive in. This is the car that started my fascination with, with the Escort models of this era. Um, the dream was always the Escort Cosworth, but it always felt too far away. The RS2000 was the car I probably lusted for that I thought I would get. But this was the car that started the journey. So to have it and to have restored it and brought it back to its original kind of showroom-esque condition, I'm really, really proud of. So I'm not going to let it go. It's too hard to replace. It's probably irreplaceable to a point because it's nostalgic and it's sentimental to me. So there'll be a lot more of this car on my channel, on my page. Uh, so I hope you like the fact that I'm keeping the car. I'm really, really proud of the fact that I am. So let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers, guys.